today's news breaking. Kevin is leaving you kiss permanently. In the ever-changing world of K-pop, another K-pop group is losing a member. Kevin, one of the original members of you kiss has decided not to renew his contract with NH Entertainment, I think. I'm thinking that you know more about this than I do. Just looking briefly at you kiss's history of their performances and their popularity. They're way more popular in Japan these days than they are in Korea. They seem to be making a lot of money over there. They are one of the original K-pop groups debuting in 2008, so this is kind of not surprising, I guess. Well, Kevin was a member of a K-pop group before he became a member of Yukis. So to give a brief situation, a brief history of Kevin, he is from California. He's 25 years old. He moved to Korea at the age of 15 to become a Korean entertainer. And from 2006 to 2008, he was a member of a K-pop group called Xing, X-I-N-G. I think that's how you pronounce it. Not absolutely positive on that. Not called Crossing? It could be Crossing. It could be. But he left that K-pop group to become a member of Yukis, and he was a member of Yukis since the beginning from 2008. While he was a member of Yukis, and he was a singer and guitar player, Yukis put out three albums in Korea and five Japanese albums, wow. and they have done 13 tours. I think it's interesting because Yukis, having been around for so long, still has Eli as one of their members, and that guy's married with the kid, and yet Yukis is still going strong. <laughs> Well, he's one of the most popular members of Yukis. Like, when I think of Yukis, Eli is actually one of the first people that I think of mm. because of things like he's married and has a kid, which is so unusual in K pop. But Kevin is not the first Yukis member to leave. Yukis has actually had a pretty significant amount of turnover saw that. in the years that they've been playing. They have four other members who've left. Alexander, Kibum, AJ, and Dong Ho. Alexander and Kibum, of which have created successful careers for themselves within entertainment. Alexander's originally from Hong Kong, so he's done some Korean stuff. He's also done some Mando pop type stuff, mm. and he's also done some acting as well as singing. Dong Ho has also had a very successful career. And the other two who've left, one left for a family. He started, well, actually, no, it's Kibum who also has a successful music career. Dong Ho left for left and has now had a whole family outside of Korean entertainment land. And the other person, AJ, I don't know what happened to him. Things happen so quickly in K-pop, changes that is, and if you go onto their wiki, it's already been noted that Kevin has left. It's so fast. It's so, so fast. <laughs> I'm really not surprised that Kevin has left though. He has been a member of Yukis for almost 10 years and it looks like his success is now starting to turn more towards hosting shows on Korean television or hosting Korean things in English. He's been since 2014 a host on a program, a music review program called After School, which is on Arirang TV, which is a very popular Korean television station that does does Korean shows for English audiences. So it looks like he's had a lot more success with hosting than he has doing solo things um, in music. I just think K-pop needs to do whatever it needs to do in order to be successful. So in, for instance, going to Japan and doing live performances there and selling a lot of music there, I can see the allure, for instance, for Japanese teenagers that are interested in K-pop music and interested in seeing stars. They have more of an intrigue or mystique about them if they're from Korea than if they're from their own country of Japan. And Korea just seems to have the brightest and strongest entertainment right now in Asia. Yeah, they definitely are popular internationally, especially in Asia, because they've got this look about them and they're flashy and they've got all this nice stuff. But when I think about Kevin, that's when I think about why is he doing it? And there comes a point in time where, are you doing it for the money or are you doing it because you really enjoy it and this is the direction that you want to take for the next seven years of your life? It does look like Yukis is going to continue on as a five member group. I think Kevin's gonna be able to go over and make appearances in Japan anytime he wants, as long as it's organized and have fan meets. They're gonna do one last six member fan meet in Korea and Japan as well, I think. Nice. So you can get your last seeing Yukis as a whole together. Yeah, if you're in the neighborhood. Who's a member of you, Kiss? Did I say member or fan? 
Fan of you, Kiss. <laughs> Who's a big fan of you, Kiss? Are you sad that Kevin's not going to be around anymore? Do you think that he's going to go on and do his own individual music pursuits? Would you support him in that? Do you think he's going to go get married and have a baby? Comments, let us know. Click the like button. Thank you so much for supporting us. Click the bell for notifications. Check out the link to KGAL. And don't forget to subscribe for more Hollywood back news. That's it. We're out of here. Hasta luego. Bye.